Hello everybody, this is Victoria Lynn, and we are going to be drawing a dog today. And again, because we're using Sharpie, we put a piece of paper down to kind of bleed through. Um, so let's see, well, where can we start? Let's start with the nose. So the nose is kind of a triangle with rounded corners. And we're going to do this just above his nose. We're going to do a ridge of hair. So let's see what we can do here. It's going to be kind of spiky hair. Like that. And then we'll make his eyes. Good. Let's do. Do I look at you this time? Like that. So we're gonna do kind of small, spiky around. Spiky around, doesn't have to be perfect, like that. Okay. Just doing Kind of squiggly lines coming down. I don't know. Hmm. I think he needs a taller head. I just made him taller. That's all. We'll bring his ears kind of flopping down. All right. Um, That's kind of a little bit of chest hair. And then the straight line is going to be, he's standing right in front of us, so that will be his two legs put together. So let's see if we can do that. Down, like that. Rounded paws, like that. And the same thing over here. And to make them furry, just the All right, and then we have to have maybe his body belly comes around. This is almost like a side of heart, only squiggly, for fur. And we'll come down and we'll make another leg here. Alright, and then we'll take his tail.
All right, again, we want him sitting on ground, so we'll do that horizon line. And maybe there's a bowl here of food next to him. So I'm going to do like a oval. You can bring the oval down on each side. You just bring it straight down and then this will be the same line. Down here is the same line as this one. So you'll come around and make it curve and go up. And then in here, we'll do this. So this looks like there's some water or something like that around. In there. And I know mine has this little lip that kind of comes around like this. So we're just going to come up and then go up above that. That makes it look like it's going behind there. And I also use um, a mat. So to make it look somewhat, I mean, we're not being perfectly 3D and all this, but start introducing you to the idea of perspective. The further away it is, the closer it comes to a point, like a one point perspective here. So if we want to do a mat that's here, we're going to do the lines just a little bit. Kind of bent like that and then we're going to go in we're going to skip over our dog dish and go in and here we're going to go straight across like that and it looks like the bowl is sitting on a little mat and i think that is our dog <laughs>